The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another exciting edition of the Power Trading Hour with me. And of course, as always, my mic is low. Well, we can't have that. Anymore. We'll turn it up a little bit. How's about that? Is that a little better? A little echo in there. Let's see. Way low. Well, I don't know what to do about that at the moment. Um, all I'm going to hear is noise if I turn it up this loud. All I hear is the echo and the air conditioner. So I do not know. Um, let's see. That doesn't help. Hopefully that helps. Anyway, 877-927-6648. Uh, see what else we have going on here today. Um, as we get to the markets, uh, we're down about 35 points on the S&P cash. Um, of course, we were down about 70 earlier. Um, we'd been looking for fund buying to come in this afternoon. We talked about that on Friday. Uh, we've got a lot of charts to look at. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. There, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on other things because I do have so many charts to go through. We're going to try to get to them as much as possible. And one of the reasons why uh, is because I haven't had a chance to go through all of them yet, and I want to get to them. Uh, but uh, that's about it. Uh, of course, all that matters is they're here at the appointed time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. And see what else we have. I think that's about it. Why don't we just get into the charts early today because there's so much going on and we're looking at fun buying coming in. Uh, I did go long um, uh, an index position uh, earlier uh, after lunch today. And I'm going to say I got it pretty much uh, all the wood on the bat on it. Um, but uh, I can imagine that a great deal of fun buying is going to come in yet today. And no fun, uh, no sound clip either. Yeah, well, I took, I had to, you know, I had a problem. I uh, got hit by lightning this weekend, not me personally, but the computer system. And a lot of stuff uh, had to get replaced. Uh, before it was going on. Well, that says it's on there. Uh, no sound clip. That certainly is on. I don't know about that. Uh, now let's play it again. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. Well, hopefully you heard that. Yeah, we'll find out. Still very faint. Well, we'll have to figure that out during the break. Um, anyway, we're going to go to the charts already, and we'll see what's going on. Anyway, a lot of charts out here, and even though I'm faint, I am not fainting, and uh, we'll look and see what's going on. Uh, in the charts. Uh, American Airlines uh, Group was the uh, uh, one of the ones we talked about on Friday getting into the previous low. That was the June 17th low. Uh, you came into $11.93. It had 56 million shares. Um, but on Thursday, 37 million shares and actually kind of moving up. So some of these stocks have kind of come back. They had some gaps. Um, you've got two gaps in American Airlines. I'd wait for the third one, but uh, not acting all that kind of weak. Um, other things going on here. Let's see. Let's see. Does that do any good? Does that? Eh, that doesn't do any good either. Okay. 
Uh, hmm. How about that? Uh, does that uh, bring me up anymore? That sounds a little bit better, but I hear a lot of background noise. Yep. Yeah, that helps. Okay. Uh, anyway, we're looking at uh, as many of these stocks today as we can. Um, wanted to see some of these that were bottoming out. A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D? No, A, B, C, B. I knew I was going to do that. Um, American Bank Corp. Uh, a low of $39.59 with 800,000 shares. Tested it on April 26 with 600,000 shares. Came into it with just a little bit more, 750,000 shares. Um, but a lot of these things look like they're at least coming close. I'm going to put that one on probably just a little bit too much volume. For uh, now, uh, in the list of stuff that we have today, First Majestic Silver uh, is... Uh, I mean, there's a lot of gold stocks out here on light volume of previous lows. So AG, May 12th, $7.23, 14 million shares. Hit that with 5.7 million shares on Friday. Today, you got about 6.7. So there isn't a lot of juice on these going through the lows. Uh, other stocks of interest, uh, Ambrilla. Um also fairly low. Let's just go to the last two out here. Uh, the uh, June 16th low, 64, 69, 650,000 shares. You had 425,000 shares on Friday. Today, you're down with 267 so far. So maybe there's a little bit bigger push in the SMHs out here, but uh, looking low. Amplitude. We talked about this one with uh, Tim Ord last week, and uh, it doesn't have a lot of juice, but it does have a fairly decent uh, low out here. May twelfth, thirteen dollars sixty four cents, with one and a quarter million shares came into it on Wednesday of last week with just seven hundred fifty thousand shares. So if you live in Lutz, that's a reduction of five hundred thousand shares on a one point two five million share low. Um, you've had some kind of moves up here, but uh, generally you're going to get a nice bounce. And again, I didn't go along this thing mostly because the energy on the way down was a little stronger. But uh, yeah, if you were short some of these stocks uh, and uh, you're a big Wyckoff trader like mine or like me, you start seeing these kinds of uh, big signals. And let's see what you have here. Okay. <laughs> okay. They say I'm sounding better in the dead now. Okay. Now, what else do we have here? Oh, we're going to go back. We got time for one more before the break. We do AQST. And yes, uh, this is me doing what I do a couple times a year. And that is when we have a lot of stocks uh, that are showing light volume. Uh, we talk about it on the show because that's generally the best signals that you can get. Uh, AQST, don't know much about this. Acquisitive Therapeutics, Biotech, 1.3 million shares. That was on June 21st. Got into it with uh, 600,000 shares on Friday. Nice little bounce out here, not much volume. Yeah, it's a biotech, so I'm going to take it off my list. When we come back, AU. of booming inflation where your purchasing power is eroded there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold vista gold's flagship asset is the mount todd gold project in the northern territory of australia this is australia's largest undeveloped gold project we are talking a world-class gold project in a tier one mining district this is a large-scale low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ.
Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Free at one eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight internationally at seven two seven eight seven three seven six one eight. As we come back, as we said, a lot of these stocks out here uh, in the gold, metals, energy, all down. Not a lot of juice so far. We'll see whether or not anybody sees anything. I'm looking for a push up to maybe 38.15 uh, today. And by the end of the week, probably just under 4,000 on the S&P cash. So we'll see how that goes. And of course, fund buying generally starts coming in right about now. And, of course, the markup phase, eh, I'm going to say 1 o'clock is uh, generally noon. 1 o'clock is when they start it, and they start turn th turning that uh, knob up to the 11 setting. Uh, but uh, we shall see. 877-927-6648. We'll check out uh, the inbox. Uh, okay. Okay. Yes, we did get my 11, uh, or my 1775. Okay. And yeah, they delivered something to my door during the break. I'll have to go out and look at there. Uh, let me get through the rest of my mail, make sure that we have anything. Okay, new tools, that, that. Okay, a couple more. Yeah, we'll get to those two before the show is over. Okay. Uh, anyway, um, Anglo Asante, you could kind of make a case that this is the expansion on the way down the ABC. Um, and on the on the uh, yeah, let's uh, do this. See, so we can move that down. Yeah. If this is the ABC, it's $12.79. So you'd have a little bit farther to go. The good thing is you don't have a lot of volume. Other stocks that were out here testing lows on lighter volume is Yamana Gold. We got about 14 million shares into a, four, uh, into a 23 million share low from back on May 11th. So you want to watch that uh, come into the close. You want something... Like 16 million. You're getting a little high in that right now. AXTA, 
Another one uh, breaking through some previous lows. This one actually having a little bit uh, more volume, but today not much of anything. 1.2 million shares going into a, a 2.7 million shares. AXDA is a symbol on that. Let's turn these off for a second. Uh, BAC. Um, a lot of dojis in this thing over the last little bit. Uh, certainly... Uh, you want to be looking for the high volume low, and you know 61 million shares, 80 million shares somewhere in there. Uh, you had a nice reversal day with 80 million shares. So the last three days, 46 million shares. Friday, 40 million shares. Today, just 26 million shares. So the question is whether these things bounce back into the trading range over the next couple of days. I don't see a lot of reasons to be uh, a hero, and of course, if your name is Billy. You especially don't want to be a hero. Uh, Brookdale Senior Living, because we're all going to God's waiting room soon enough. Uh, and uh, this is actually looking kind of interesting out here. Three million shares back at four dollars forty-four cents. Three point two million shares actually. You got about one point one million shares now. Now that's uh, right now four dollars seventy yeah four dollars fifty seven cents and that gets you back into the trading range, um, you know if you've got to be in the real estate part of the sector that one may actually bottom first. Okay. Uh, BP wanted to see how some of these energies are doing now that they're breaking previous lows. 13.7 million shares for BP. That was on the uh, June 23rd with almost 14 million shares. You got 11.5 now. So, yeah, you're probably going to break that low with more volume on the energy sector. Again, I think some of the uh, Supreme Court rulings last week on regulations, uh, mostly the war on energy here in domestic production, are going to have a tough time getting scrutiny, and more than likely, um, they will uh, be able to. The government will have to prove the burden instead of the energy companies in the uh, upcoming lawsuits that I'm sure are around here. Buena Vista Mines. Yeah, this is an ADR, but uh, BVN's a symbol out here. You had 1.6 million shares back on May 12th. Uh, the last three days, as you've gone underneath it, a little less than a million. Uh, Friday, 870,000. Today, you got 1.1. So you want to watch that and the close. If you close back above uh, $6.84 without ex uh, going above that volume, and ideally you'd want it to actually uh, be very light, uh, you'd be back in it. Again, banks uh, all kind of dancing around these lows. Uh, $45.40 uh, on May 12th for Citigroup. Uh, with 36 million shares. Friday had 16 million shares. Today, just 12.5 million shares. And it looks to me, although you pierced the low, 45.40, got to 44.80, uh, yeah, 44.93 this morning. Uh, right now, you're at 46.14. Uh, and actually, you came down on a little lighter volume. And you got a lighter, vo you got, uh, a lighter volume uh, test today with a uh, uh, 12 and a half million shares. Um, but, uh, you know, you could get a bounce back up to about 49.50. Uh, and uh, it doesn't look all that bad. 877 uh, Okay. Nothing like the Spanish Inquisition, is there? Okay. Uh, clear or outdoor channel holding CCO. Yeah, what do we have? Uh, okay, 1.1. Yeah, let's call it 1.1 million shares. Uh, or no, 1. Point, what is that? A dollar and eight. This is a penny stock. I get used to Clear Channel being a penny stock. Uh, June 16th, low at 1 million shares. If you had like four days of going sideways out here on light volume. So if you're interested in the pennies or trying to buy a non-expiring uh, 
non-expiring uh, option. That would be interesting. Uh, 1.88 million shares on Clean Spark. Um, and this is dipped down on lighter volume. Four dollars and six cents CLSK. Uh, what do you have? One point six million shares, one point two million shares. Friday, one point one million shares. Uh, you got below it. Now you're back into the trading range. You could have a bounce into this one to this gap, which is at about five. We'll be back in a minute. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And we're going to continue going through the charts here today. Ah, we're just off 23 points on the S&P cash. And, uh, yeah, I think probably going to go back to unchanged on the day. Uh, so if you're uh, one of my subscribers, I'm probably going to hold these uh, calls just a little bit longer today. 877-927-6648. Uh, Email me at path at tfnn.com, but we'll continue going through these charts. Uh, even the dogs out here. Um, you know, maybe they can even bark. Uh, Coinbase Global uh, from the Bitcoin days, June 13th, $46, 30 million shares. Got back into it with only 13 million shares. And you're getting a little bit of a bounce today. I'm sure everybody and their dog is short. Chart actually in the short term does not look that bad. Okay. 
And what else do we have? Coursera. Brought this up the other day. Nice little pop on it. Uh, buck 30 uh, at uh, $14.29 on June 14th. You come back in uh, with about 700,000 shares on June 30th. You got a little bit of movement on Friday, a little bit more out here today. Uh, but if you're a Wyckoff style trader, this is what you do. You go out and you look for previous lows on much lighter volume or significantly lighter volume and find them. Uh, Crescent Energy, don't know a lot about this. CRGY. Uh, and uh, certainly, what do we have? Uh, $11.69. Uh, 730,000 shares. That's the December 22nd, 2021 low. Uh, so you're coming back into that today with 340,000 shares, so half the volume. Again, this is where you start, uh, or at least where I start, into looking at equities. And that is you want to pierce the previous low. You want to do it on significantly lighter volume. And you want to close back into that particular low. Uh, Carpenter Technology CRS, uh, November 30th, $26.51, 550,000 shares. Uh, so far, 330,000 shares. Now, you want that to close above 2651. Uh, so it's got another 60 cents to go. Sometimes that doesn't happen in the same day, but it does give you a good indication that maybe everybody's a little too flat. Corsair Gaming, I don't know if there's a whole lot in this one, but there's certainly not a whole lot of volume. Uh, the last major low was um, May 12th with $13.04 on 1.8 million shares. Today, you dipped into it. You're back into the trading range. Uh, you did exactly what Wyckoff says you should do. Don't like the energy coming down a little bit uh, too much for me, but guess what? If you are short this thing, it's time to Amscray Attenlay. Uh, stage left, uh, to Murgatroyd. But uh, that's it. 1.8 million shares to 300,000 shares today. Okay, what else do we have? Um, Chevron. Again, we were talking about energy stocks out here. This is it. Uh, you broke the previous low. You're going to close back in it. I don't know if this thing turns around really significantly before the end of the summer, but I suspect you're probably getting ready for the next big ABC leg up in these energy stocks. Uh, June 30, uh, no, June 23rd, he said, dollar, not dollar, $140.15 with about 16 million shares. You got about half that today. That's a pretty good sign that you're bottoming in Chevron today. Uh, DNN which is Denison Mines. Again, uh, this whole sector, kind of interesting. If you're interested in penny stocks, uh, kind of interesting. May 12th low at 98 cents with 15 million shares. Today, you've pierced that. You need to close back above 98 cents. Right now, you're at 96 cents. Uh, so you'd have another couple pennies. But, uh, yeah, you got about 10 million shares. You may make it. You may not. Uh, DocuSign, as we take a look at these, um, actually made its low a little bit earlier. Let me see here. Um, did we get a low here? Yeah. Uh, big low at $7.73. Yeah, excuse me, at $55.96. That's the June 16th low, 7.7 .7 million shares. Uh, you had a low at about 5 million shares a couple of days ago. Uh, up on lighter volume today. So this one may need a bit more consolidation, but it's trying to make some lows. Uh, Devon Energy, another one of these energy stocks, it needs to close above $52.25. That had almost 14 million shares. You're into that with uh, about 10.5 million shares now. That may uh, exceed that low, so you want to keep an eye on it. Expatriol, EC. Uh, a nice low, and I don't think there's any way you're going to blow out the uh, low on volume. June 24th, $10.05, $3, uh, no, $10.05, uh, 3.3 million shares into it today with 1.2 million shares. So you're not getting a lot there. MCOR, uh, yeah, MCOR, E-M-K-R is the symbol on this one. Um, bouncing around the previous low. 
of uh, two dollars ninety seven cents. That had eight hundred thousand shares. You came down with a selling climax of June seventeenth, and then rallied back higher with a big high volume doji on June twenty fourth. So that would be your target. Uh, you come back down. You're back uh, on Friday with four hundred thousand shares. Uh, today you got about two hundred fifty thousand shares. So as long as you stay in that range, that looks like a fairly decent low. Uh, you had a lot of energy on the way up and not so much on the way back down. Uh, so uh, we'll check in on that one uh, throughout the next week. Uh, other stocks out here, EOSE, don't know much about this one, uh, but certainly dollar stock. Let's find out what this thing does. Okay. Uh, designs, manufactures, and deploys battery storage solutions for utility, commercial, and industrial, and renewable energy. Uh, not a whole lot here. I would love for it to have tested the $1 low, but the volume is so low out here. Um, I mean, you came down with uh, 38 million shares back on the 17th of May. Uh, you bottomed out on 10 million shares on May 20th. You did rally to 220. You've kind of come back. The energy has been lighter. Um, I'd still want to test to that $1. But uh, if this thing kind of fools around, tests a buck, and it's still the volume is nothing, uh, you may get yet another bite at the apple on that one. Uh, yeah, that's a BlackRock thing. I don't know about that. Uh, okay. Other stocks, uh, Everbridge. I know a lot of people talked about this one when it was the high flyer, uh, but yet another one down here on Vapor. $27.81. That was uh, February 25th. Uh, you had, uh, yeah, 11 million shares. Um, Thursday, you had uh, uh, June 30th, you had 1 million shares at 27.10. So you've gone below it. Uh, Friday, you had 700,000 shares. Today, you got 452,000 shares, so not a lot of juice out here. You need it to close above 2781 at your 2876. Um, the only thing I dislike, if it comes down on more energy, as this one did, you may need some consolidation. But uh, talk about vapor volume at the lows, Everbridge. Uh, take a little bit stronger look on this one over the next couple of days. Be back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. As we said, we've been looking for fun buying. I said in the den that I should. it should be called fun buying as we take a uh, ride along for profits and ill-gotten gains on the show. A uh, question from John about where I'm thinking this thing goes. I think 380 on the spies is kind of the low of the day uh, from here on out. We'll see what happens in the next hour. But my guess is we're probably seeing a little bit of short selling now. A lot of people are not going to buy it. And those folks will probably blink before the end of the day. Uh, options kind of point to uh, about another, well, about 1950 or so. Excuse me, 1950 uh, uh, to uh, 3950 or so by Friday. And you know that's 150 points. It's not that big a deal. A little bit of a short squeeze that may set up the next uh, ABC on the way down. But I don't see a lot of volume. Uh, or there's enough stocks out here with light volume that we can hang on. 877-927-6648 is the number. And, of course, uh, uh, I don't know what you're doing right now, but uh, you may look up. You may look down. You may actually be sitting, and uh, you can feel your feet on the floor. You can feel the air conditioning blow on your face. And you're going to think, I need to buy some Tiger Dollars. Your last chance to do, do that. And, of course, I've got two newsletters and the Art of the Charts, which I'm showing you here, which is set up to do exactly what I do, which is Wyckoff-style trading. E-X-K, Endeavor Silver. Actually, it looks better than the rest of the gold sectors. Uh, you got two things on this, $3.06 May 10th. With 4 million, 4.3 million shares, you got about 3 million shares so far, so you could do that. Uh, you got right now three bucks. You need 306 or above uh, to act in the Wyckoff tradition. Uh, but you've got uh, the energy down about 15 percent, uh, maybe 20 percent, and about 15 percent on the way back on Endeavor Silver. So we've got that, uh, but you need to close, and maybe it doesn't happen till tomorrow or something. But uh, uh, interesting lows. Ford Motor. You can have any color as long as it's black. And, of course, everybody will always tell you that the uh, Model T only came in black. And that is untrue. The first three years, it came in colors. But why did it come in black? Because the war started and they needed all those pigments to make uh, camouflage for all the ships at sea. So uh, then it went to black, and they thought, hey, you know, this is not a bad idea. We only have one color here that we have to worry about. So why don't we just uh, do it all in black? Yeah, yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll do it all in black. Anyway, uh, you pierced the low on Ford Motor today. That was $10.90 from June 17th. That had 80 million shares. You got too much volume today, and energy was more on the way back down. It's going to be more. Uh, but you're closing back into the trading range, uh, which is a positive for the market, not a positive to go long Ford Motor. Franken uh, Realty Trust, a uh, light volume test of the June 14th low, $12.94 with 1.6 million shares. 
Uh, and uh, FBRT, if you're a home gamer, not watching on the screen, uh, $12.95. So you came within a penny today, and you're doing it on about a fourth of the volume. Now, here's what I love about this one. The energy was half on the way back down on what it was on the way up. So you want to, I don't know a lot about this Realty Trust, FBRT, where it is, what it does, uh, but there are not a lot of sellers. Uh, if you're short this thing, this is the screaming signal to get out. Uh, if you're thinking about going long, yeah, that's, uh, that's tough. That's tough in real estate, but it looks the best of the bunch. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight five below. Now here was the one that I probably should have acted on at the morning, just because you had two dojis last week. Uh, you got into the low of May twenty fourth. That was one ten eighty three. That had one point eight million shares. Uh, you came into it on Thursday with one point one. Friday eight hundred thousand shares. Now today. Uh, you dip below it. You, you came back in it, and man, it, it, is it taken off to the races? You got a gap about 132. Uh, that's where resistance is going to start coming in. So making money uh, in a bear market uh, is certainly possible. Flow serve, another one that looks interesting. I would have liked it to come down a little lighter energy the last couple of days. The last week kind of picked up. Today, though, you're getting that. I came within a dime of the uh, June uh, 17th low. That's 2731 uh, with one and a half million shares uh, with 400,000 shares. And you're closing back into the trading range. So investigate that company a little bit more. If we find some kind of low for the summer or low for the year this week, uh, you want to be looking at these stocks. Uh, again, uh, other stocks out here that of interest, Franco, Nevada. Uh, this one had a big low on May 18th. That was uh, 132.87 with 1.1 million shares. Thursday, you got into it with uh, 680,000 shares. Friday, 500,000 shares. Today, you're into it with 562. What you don't have is a close back above 132.87. Uh, the Wyckoff Way, otherwise known as The Way, trademark, copyright, don't don't fold or mutilate or anything else uh, says that you want to wait until this closes back into the trading range. 132.87 on that mark. It's time to hop back in if you're feeling froggy on Franco Nevada. See what I did there? 877-927-6648. Okay. We've got more things out here. What do we have? Uh, da, 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 da. Please show your GDX chart. Okay. Uh, GDX. Okay. It looks to me like you're to finishing uh, the end of an ABC on the way down. 2185. Uh, yeah, 2158. So you could have a little bit farther to go. Um, if this is an ABC on the way down, I'm not so sure that this is, isn't testing previous lows. You really needed to blow through uh, the B point, which was, uh, let's just get this up here. Uh, you needed to blow through the B point, which is this May 12th low that had 36 million shares, and you really never got it. This is a very low volume push down. Now, on Friday, you had 30 million shares. Uh, today, you're down on 18. But this looks uh, kind of like the Jaws shark. And that was, uh, he went down on one barrel. Then he went down on two barrels. Uh, but Mr. Uh, Quig thought that there was no way he could stay down on three. And, of course, he popped back up. So, uh, don't see a signal yet. But uh, I do like the light volume, except the... Uh, Big volume on Friday, which looks like a lot of people parked their cash in gold. Be back. This 
Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call Newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the Opening Call Newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. And an email here. Sandy says, uh, thanks for your play today on the spies. Uh, we bought them for a buck fifty and out for five dollars already. We're kind of chickens here. We're not going to hold on to the close, but uh, still a huge, huge move. Thanks again. And of course, you could use uh, your tiger dollars if you buy them today uh, to get uh, uh, copious amounts of gains from some of my option plays and others today. I know some of the people went uh, longer uh, into Friday's close because they can't play expiring options on the day. But uh, yeah, that's one way to, uh, one reason to find a broker that takes those. But uh, yep, uh, things have been acting just about the way that they're supposed to. Um, previous to uh, the previous 150 years of stock market history, opposed to the last 10 years of the Fed mocking about the markets are back to the way that they've worked before uh a question about uh, two dojis uh, in a row uh generally dojis at highs tell you one thing and that is somebody's right underneath there uh holding the stock up and selling at highs at the lows pretty good indication that any kind of lower tick is bought there's somebody with a uh, buy right underneath whatever the uh, price of the stock is now. Not always there, 
But what you do is as soon as you start seeing uh, something like that, either move down or move up from those dojis when you get a bunch of them in a row. Uh, that's telling you that there's probably a seller at the top. And, of course, uh, you've got uh, other things going on at the lows. Uh, anyway, uh, that's about it. Uh, Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible.